Whitricity is a company that was founded out of MIT uh, through some fundamental research in, in wireless power transfer. Um, and we are a company that, in addition to having a lot of intellectual property and licensing agreements, we are also uh, in the process of developing products uh, to wirelessly charge um, vehicles specifically, uh, but the application of the technology goes beyond just vehicles into any electronic uh, or electric uh, mobility device. Uh, the company is just over 90 people and engineering consists of uh, two thirds or so we're in the mid 60s on the engineering side. So we're, we design a system and that system consists of a transmitter and a receiver. So imagine the electricity is coming from the grid uh, and then gets transmitted from the, from the ground assembly is what we call it into the vehicle side assembly, uh, which is the receiver. So we're, we are uh, designing industrial products as well as automotive grade product. Yeah, so we have a cross-functional engineering team. We have mechanical engineers, electrical, software, firmware, uh, systems, and applications engineers. Um, so we are working across all disciplines. We're making product um, that is high power uh, electronics as well as uh, cloud and mobile communications. Uh, and then we're also uh, needing to design our, our products to survive in, in some pretty interesting environments because we're talking about um, a device that's hanging on, on the bottom side of a vehicle uh, as well as uh, an industrial grade charging pad that needs to be able to be driven over and be outside, you know, subjected to the elements. So the, um, we have systems that are being used in factories. So if you imagine factories and warehouses are, are full of robots that are usually autonomous. And <clears throat> so you have the opportunity to charge the, the robot as it's actually moving through the factory doing its work. You, you get these robots that are going down aisles and they stop at stop signs in these in factories. So you could let it dwell there for 30 seconds to a minute and it's being charged while it's sitting at the intersection, then it turns and moves. And so if you strategically position these chargers um, throughout the factory, you could essentially eliminate any downtime that you would have related to charging because you're never exhausting the batteries. You're, you're constantly uh, keeping robots charged as well as you know with autonomous robots there's no one driving them so there's no one to plug them in either so that's another benefit that comes from this kind of dynamic charging application where you don't have to take it out of service to charge it it's actually being has the ability to be charged uh throughout its service uh, throughout the the time that it's in service uh, so we have a recruiting team that that has a set of requirements for each of the roles that we're looking for and they will do some initial outreach and screening and then uh, the hiring manager will be will become involved in the process and review the background of each candidate and then uh, start to engage so that we can better understand the candidates that are, are being presented and um, what would start off as maybe a phone call or a discussion would move into a in-person, ideally an in-person visit to our office, uh, our headquarters office in Watertown, Mass, where you could see our demonstration room, see the products, meet the people, the lab, uh, really get an idea and a feeling for what the company is all about. So Vitricity has had a long history in research and intellectual property creation and then uh, a licensing model uh, where the technology was being licensed to other companies in various fields and they were taking it to product um, 
over the la in the last couple of years, the, the strategy of the company has changed to where we are developing the product and the system. Uh, so it, it's a very interesting time because we're moving into the development and creation of actual products that represent our technology, which is really exciting. And then at the same time, you can see the market uh, specifically around electric vehicles uh, and looking from now, you know, here in 2023, in the beginning of 2023, and you look at what the future of electric vehicles are going to be between regulatory and mandates, but just the overall general trend um, is going to be remarkable. And, and, you know, people are not going to be plugging in their electric vehicles for long. Uh, wireless uh wireless charging is going to take over this industry just like it has taken over every other industry uh, and every other product family that started with wires um, and then now has moved to wireless so uh, we're really on the cusp of widespread adoption that you're going to see it across uh, a variety of different industrial areas and, and other areas.